I was in the United States Marine Corps for eight years, two tours in Iraq, and then once to Afghanistan. There's a code we have, honor, courage, commitment. If you can't live by those three things, and I mean really embrace them, then it's gonna be a tough road for you. It's the only way I can put it. I was lucky enough that I had some pretty good senior Marines that they pulled me aside ahead of time and said, listen, you're one of the older, smarter guys, so you're getting the harder job. Here's the radio, go figure it out. The last guy that had it had a mortar explode under his feet. So it was, oh, okay, here we go. That's your job, you sign the contract and when you don't do your job, you're costing somebody else their life. And that's pretty much the way we treat it. I didn't join the Marine Corps to be special or to be thought of as special. I joined because I felt like it was the right thing to do at the right time and that I could do something to make a difference, period. I left as a sergeant now it's just life. That's it. How do I pay for the house, the car, the kid? It's horrifying. If all your friends have a job, they're taking care of their families, and then you're going, oh, what do I do? How do I do it? That's pretty rough. I think when you come out of the military, people tell you to adjust to civilian life. And somebody once said, I'll never be a civilian again. We're not looking for sympathy. This was a responsibility. We raised our right hand. We knew what goes with it. Um, I think more than anything, I think people want a little bit of understanding and um, an opportunity. One thing that is predictable about combat is that it's unpredictable. You have to improvise. These intangible skills, it's hard to put it on a resume, but it's there, it's deep, it's there in the DNA of the soldier. I think what soldiers can bring back is a sense of loyalty, commitment, work ethic, perseverance, and just courage because Courage isn't the absence of fear. Courage is just knowing that there's something greater. The one thing that I learned the most from the Marine Corps is learning how to be there for people. The, the main thing that they teach you is they break down the sense of yourself, like you are the center of the universe, right? It's not, not, not when it comes to being in the military. It's, it's you, the man next to you, the man behind you, because without them, they, uh, the mission can't get complete. When people look at a life saved on the battlefield, the physician might get the credit for saving that soldier. In order to save that soldier, it took many people. It took medics, it took the people carrying the stretcher, it took the people who flew the helicopter. It took the person who filled the fuel on that helicopter. And none of those roles are any less important. Folks that come out of the military, they have a great foundation on which to be a self-starter and a self-learner, to get trained up very quickly. For me, as an employer, whatever, whatever industry that you're in, you know, they are 85 to 90 percent of what you want and what you're looking for in an employee at any level. And I, I'm telling you, veterans will pick it up quick, be the first ones in, last ones out. And if someone gives them an opportunity, they will pay it back tenfold in many cases. It's all about the mission. It's making sure that the company thrives so that we can survive, right? We just make the day. Just give us an opportunity. I mean, I think that's all we really are looking for is an opportunity to have our voice heard. It's not us and them, you know, that guy who went to Iraq. It's us, and that guy helped us. 
have this life. Helping them integrate back is a role of society. Helping them so that they can transition back and we can bring down the veteran jobless rate and improve the health of veterans. We can't leave them stranded.